All right, now let's talk about events. Events can be considered the folder full of your footage and your projects. This is where all the um, footage and the projects that you create, they'll be stored. And you'll notice it separates it out by date. For some reason, my camera was set to 2013, so it thinks it was uh, filmed in 2013. But anytime you import footage, you select what event you want it to go to, and then you can um, you know, import it all there and create uh, projects, as many as you want, that are associated with that event. So that being said, you can actually have footage from a different event in your project, but it's best to keep everything organized in one event. Um, if you ever make the mistake of importing it into the wrong event, you can always do file, new event, create a new event, and then just select the footage and, and move it into the, the, the proper event. All right, so this is the different events right here, and this is called the event browser. Within here, you can uh, look over a lot of your footage. If you just hold your mouse over, you can skim through. Dun -dun, I'm looking at my footage. Um, and you'll notice it shows up here in the video player. All right, so this is considered the source video, and that's because it always remains the same, exactly how you imported it, no matter what you do to it in the timeline. So if you fast forward or you know add effects to your video in the timeline, you don't have to worry about the original footage being um, changed. All right. So right here in the event browser, you're looking through your, your different footage. Um, right now, my audio skimming is off. You can always turn that back on. Something really important to notice is right here, this little film button. If you click on it, you'll notice a pane uh, pops up. Um, and this allows you to show the audio waveforms. It allows you to make the clip size bigger if you want to see a little bit better, to zoom in or zoom out. That's kind of up to you. It's your preference, but this is just a viewer to help you when you're actually selecting your footage. Okay? So those are a couple of things to uh, be aware of. So that's the zoom slider, slider and the clip size slider. And if you want to actually turn the audio skimming off while you're looking at your different events, all you need to go to is the main menu up here to the view and audio skimming. And that means that when I'm going over, now you can hear the audio. For the most part, I don't like that on when I'm actually just looking through the footage in the event browser, but again, that is up to you. Now, if you want to play in a selection in real time, all you need to do is just bring your playhead somewhere, hit the space bar, and it'll start playing. Like so, that one's a still image. It'll start playing. And then hit space bar to stop.